It's only about 30 millimeters long, but the survival of this amphibian is critical. For nearly a decade, conservationists have warned that the Pickergill's reed frog is on the verge of extinction. Its 12-kilometer coastal wetland is being threatened by urban development and agriculture. Environmentalists say its extinction could have severe consequences. One of the things is malaria is a big problem in South Africa as well as in other parts of, of the world, whereby frogs are actually eating mosquitoes. They're also helping with other um, controls like other insects whereby it can create economical problems in the agricultural field. But they're also an indicator species showing us if something is wrong. Okay. Conservationists have hatched a breeding program to ensure the survival of the species. Around 200 frogs are bred at Johannesburg Zoo. Zoologists later release them into the wild. Very little is known about the amphibian, and scientists are not sure how many are left in the wild. The Pickersgill's reed frog was classified as critically endangered according to the red list criteria of the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. And because of that, we decided we need to find out more about it, where it lives, how many populations or subpopulations are left, and what we can do to improve its conservation status. Conservationists say the breeding program is a small step in pulling the Pickergill's reed frog out of danger, and with it, a step closer to maintaining South Africa's biodiversity. Ruby's a man. TRT World.